Hello everyone, I'm Iro. Today, as a personal request from one of the viewers, I'll be painting this SD Freedom head using Gundam markers. But this video demonstration will be perfect for anyone who just started Gunpla and wanted to try an easy painting method. So let's get to it. Here I have the parts ready to be painted in self-assembly to make painting easier. I prepare a Gundam marker, a palette, and a brush. First, shake the pen thoroughly. Then, push the tip onto the palette to allow the paint to pool. Grabbing a tiny brush, I scoop up the paint from the palette and apply this color to the eye. I'm using a brush here to have more control over where I apply this color. Using the brush cleaner with lacquer thinner inside, I clean my brush. However, do you note that Gundam markers are notorious for not accepting any paint on top, even their own, so one coat would be good enough to avoid brush marks. I would paint with markers on larger surfaces. So, using Gundam Marker Yellow, I paint the antennas. Using Gundam Marker Metallic Green, I paint the main camera. Since I apply too much, while the paint is wet, I grab a brush to soak up the excess paint. On the back side, you see me spilling the paint out, but that's okay since I'll fix this later. Using Gundam Marker Gray, I pull some paint onto the palette and paint the small details with a brush. With Gundam Marker Gold, I paint the islands. To clean up the area where I messed up, I use Gundam Marker Eraser Type to wipe on the area where I don't want the paint to be and using Cotton Swab to remove the excess eraser solution. Once I painted all the colors I want, I proceed to paint the panel line using Gundam Real Touch Markers. Once all the panels were painted, I applied the touch markers to the edges to get a shading effect. After the edges were painted, I used cotton swab to smear the paint, and wipe off area where I don't want the paint to be left. For red and yellow areas, I used brown to add weathering and shading. Once I painted each part separately, I assembled the models together and paint the panels and areas where I want or miss. With all that done, this is what the head looks like. If you found this demonstration helpful, then leave a like, but if you have thoughts, comments, or feedback, leave them in the comment section below. This was Ira, and thank you for watching.